uh, Steve McQueen and Michael Fassbender, it's an absolute pleasure to be in your company and for such a wonderful film as well. Congratulations to you both. Okay, Brilliant film, one of the best of the year, I think, early contender anyway. Um, but with Brandon, obviously this really feels like a film that's built from the ground up with a character. How does that process start in, in terms of directing and writing and in terms of performance? Well, it starts with sort of Abby Morgan and myself just sort of having conversations about the subject matter. It was, again, and then we just start talking about all these kind of subjects we end up talking about sex addiction. And it's just one of those strange things where what happened after that was this investigation. What is a sex addict? Because, of course, when I first heard it, I laughed, like most people do. But after you find out what it entails, you sort of cease from, from laughing. And again, it's similar to alcohol addiction or drug addiction or other addictions. And um, it's one of those sort of stories which I want to tell just because it was a human story about someone who's trying to, in, in a way, in a strange way, trying to find intimacy, but it cannot, um, you know, because sex for him is not an intimate act. It's it's much more of a controlled act, and that's what I want to uh, sort of investigate through through this this one character, Brandon Sullivan. And it's some of the most organic acting, and indeed directing of I think I've seen in some time at the cinema, certainly in and in a, at a multiplex. And uh, how difficult is it to strike that balance between organic and intensity? Because there is obviously a big intensity to Brandon but the performances feel so natural and everything feels so like it's just coming off the top. Yeah, I don't know. I do an awful lot of work with the script, I suppose. And, and, um, and you know, I think um, it's really sort of, you know, the, the, what does the character want? Mm. And the intensity, I think, comes out of the condition. You know, it's like, it, it, you know, the intensity is the fact that he can't sit through a day at work without going to the toilet and masturbating. So obviously the condition is a ver is at a very sort of heightened stage for him, and is it is in is an all encompassing stage for him. We don't know how long he's been sort of partaking in this sort of pattern of behaviour, but it's come to a point where he is no longer um, capable of dealing with intimacy. Like Steve said, he wants it, and you find that through his sort of relationship with Marianne. Um, but when it comes to the point of you know no return, he can't perform. And, and so what I guess I'm saying is it, it, the condition is such an intense one that I think that brings the intensity to it. The fact that he is aware that he's got a problem also brings a, a great conflict within the character because he's trying to deal with mm. it, and but he's still continuing the pattern of behavior. And, um, and, and I think that that's, that's the sort of th th the things that are evident within the character for me, so that's the journey that I take. Because it's never about like, oh, I'm going to hit these emotions here. Yeah. I never think of emotions. It's like, what is the character trying to get at? What is it trying to get at? I think the organic comes, comes through the sensitivity of, of Michael, also of, of, of the character. He's trying to find, in a way, he's trying to find his way back home, but it's difficult. Yeah, and uh, Kerry Mulligan, obviously, you guys have a very strong relationship from Hunger, a very successful relationship and a well-deserved from, from Hunger. Mm -hmm. But Kerry Mulligan's, you're obviously working with her for the first time. Was there a level of trust that had to be built with Kerry beforehand, or was she, she straight in from the start? Yes, there was. I mean, I, well, we, we just spent days sort of walking and talking, with a couple of days, and just, just walking and talking around Manhattan, really. And, um, you know, just sort of sharing things, and I had reference books for her, and I went to see a couple of... Uh, a documentary I wanted to see, but it's all about sort of gaining that trust and and talking about the character mainly of Sissy. Yeah. Um, um, and we got there in the end because you know the first couple of days of set was a bit sh shaky, but after that it was just like we knew each other for 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 for, for a while. But we ha you have to build that because I think you know obviously we we went through a feature film as Hunger. I mean you go through that, more or less you get get through anything else after that. So that that trust of which Carrie had, had to be built. Michael, you, you in particular, you're at a point in your career now where things are gone pretty crazy. Any movie news story are right. Every second story seems to be about you and you've been linked to some franchise yeah, or yeah. some role or another. How does it feel to be like that? And is it a little disconcerting at this point or is it, you know, the subject of some hard work or the results of, of some hard work over the years? Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I'm, I, it's an amazing position for me to be in. I spent enough time trying to get work and, and you know, and, and just sort of to be a jobbing actor for me was would, would have been amazing. Uh, you know, um, certainly sort of, you know, 10 years ago. So um, to be in the position I'm in now is amazing. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it, 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 the opportunities. It's all about opportunity uh, in any sort of game. Uh, and to sort of be in the position where I have the opportunity to work with seriously talented people. Of course, then my, the chances of my quality of work being at a certain standard is increased, you know. So it's, um, it's, it's, it's pretty, it's, I'm very lucky. 
We're, we're very proud of you back home in Ireland, Michael. Thanks, Keep for it that. up, sir. Pleasure Thank to meet you. the bodies. Cheers, sir. Thanks, William. Thanks, William. Cheers,